When you're restoring your all-American muscle car or classic American car, I think it's important to use American parts. And walking the halls here at the show, I see Roger Rosebush wearing an American flag. Yes, sir. Uh, Kevin, thank you for coming back. <laughs> I think this has been the third year in a row. Yep. I got to say that, you know, American muscle. I grew up, I'm 60 years old now. When I was a kid, we had Z28s. So we had all these cars we're working on. And you know, when I thought about really the whole message that, uh, that we wanted to capture is we're um, uh, actually, not only are we in the USA, we're in Michigan, we're 100 miles north of Detroit. And you know what? We're, in, we're made in, a, in the USA. So Roger gave us a little bit of the story about Be Cool being all American made. And now I grab Mitch Gillard about uh, about radiators themselves. Now, this unit looks very familiar to us because I think this is almost exactly what we installed in our 68 Camaro. Yeah, Kevin, this is our uh, 67 through 9 first gen Camaro. Uh, this particular application is for a big block that will cool a uh, Donorated 700 horsepower. We start with our all aluminum radiator that's cap raised. There's no epoxy in our radiator. We then outfit fit it with a dual high torque 11 inch small uh, electric fan mm -hmm. that's 2780 CFM. You'll see we use all of the stainless steel mounting brackets so there's no push tabs through the core. All stainless fasteners. Um, every Be Cool module comes with a genuine aluminum Be Cool uh, radiator cap, a billet recovery can, and all the necessary wiring. Yeah, I did notice that. I mean, it's obviously made to fit the Camaro because it basically dropped right in. Yep. Uh, the mounting locations are as original. Uh, the overfill can all fit nice. But I, I get the question a lot from people who, who build cars that say, well, aluminum radiators are cool, but, but is it really a better solution than an OE style copper radiator? Well, with our radiators, we offer a money-back guarantee that they'll drop 20 degrees over a, a stock copper and brass radiator, much like your Camaro came from the factory with. So simply by simply bolting this radiator into the factory holes of your core sport, we'll give you a money-back guarantee we'll drop 20 degrees. Man, so what is it? Is it, is it the material? Is it the design? What, what's it doing? Well, it's, uh, copper and brass is held together with lead. Lead is a non-radiating surface, so lead tends to retain heat. The uh -huh. aluminum has 100% heat transfer capabilities through the tanks, through the fins, through the tubes. And through the welds. And through the welds as well. So uh -huh. you're getting 100% heat transfer with no heat absorption. Uh, not only that, it's about 40% lighter than the stock copper brass radiator that you pulled out of your car. Mm -hmm. Is there any difference in the flow pattern of the coolant? No. This. Uh, in 67, uh, starting with the Camaro, GM put uh, cross flow radiators in there. So this is a, a cross flow radiator. So the coolant goes in from the thermostat housing here, flows horizontally, will travel out from the water pump. The water pump will pull it back into the engine for circulation. Mm -hmm. Some of the earlier models, the, say a 57 Chevrolet, had a down flow with the tank on the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. The cross flow is more efficient in its design because we can put more coarse surface area to mm -hmm. cool your car. More coarse surface area, more airflow, more cooling capability. Okay, so how did you guys come up with your horsepower rating for these units? Well, it's very simple. We took a 22 inch core design, a 24 and a 27. Our 400 horsepower applications have a single fan with a 22 inch core. Our 700, as you see here, is our larger 24-inch core with the dual fans, and our 1,000 horsepower is a 27.5-inch core with twin 13. So what we've done is we've made it painless for our end user to say 400, 700, or 1,000 without getting in all the mathematical and scientific equations. Now, is this tested, proven? You guys to have a 700 horsepower car that this works on? Is well, we have a 1,000 horsepower car. We have a, uh, in fact, one of our customers, Chuck Schradel, has a uh, 1,620 horsepower Impala wow. that you, uh, I'm sure, are familiar yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. That runs our 1,000 horsepower cooling system. So we rate our cooling systems conservatively to make sure that they work, they're guaranteed. Uh, we test everything in-house on our own personal and company vehicles before they ever see a, uh, a customer's doorstep. Very cool. I mean, I hate to see cool, you know, stuck, seeing your logo, hey, cool, hey, cool. Uh, but I'm, I'm very impressed. We, we always like putting these things in because when, when the Be Cool box shows up, you know you're not up for a battle. <laughs> you know, it really, it's going to go right in. So, well, And that's what we pride ourselves on, the fit, the finish, and the performance. Right on. Well, Mitch, I really appreciate you taking yep. the time and working with us on our Camaro project. Absolutely. And, our uh, pleasure. Have a great SEMA. All right. Thank you. Thanks, buddy.